Okay, let us discuss the few problem. In this case, uh, acetylide ion is basically can act as a nucleophile. So this problem is something related to acetylide ion acting as a nucleophile. So we have remembering that we this acetylide ion can act as a nucleophile. We have discussed in the class. So let us say we have acetylide ion CH3, CH2, C triple bond C and there is a minus charge. So you have a lone pair. This by a minus charge. Now this can act as a nucleophile. So this is a C minus that is a carbon minus can act as a nucleophile. Now the first is first reaction we have CH3, CH2, C triple bond. Now we have a minus charge here. If this reacts with ethyl bromide that is CH3, CH2, Br. And you have to write down the product. Product is so simple. What it will do? This lone pair will attack here and this Br will go. So you will have product will be CH3, CH2, C triple bond C. And now this C is connected to with CH2, CH3. So simple. So you will have product is this. Basically this is nucleophilic kind of reaction, SN2 reaction. You see in this case you are having a SN2 reaction. So please keep copying. Let us do the next one. If I react with tert butyl bromide, so this is CH3, CH2C, triple bond C, now minus here you have. And if we treat with tertiary butyl bromide, that is CH3, let us say CH2H, why I am writing this you will understand soon. CH3 Br is here and CH3. So this is your tert butyl bromide. What will be the product in this case? Now see this time alkyl halide is tertiary. So this alkyl halide is tertiary. On tertiary alkyl halide nucleophilic attack is very rare. Because this nucleophile attacking this nucleophile on tertiary alkyl halide is very rare. So SN2 reaction will not take place in this case because of the crowding, asteric crowding. But now this nucleophile this time will act as a base. What it will do? It will take this H plus. Same time this goes here. And this Br goes here. So what you will get? You will get CH2, double bond C, CH3 and here you will have CH3. Are you getting? So this time the major product is through elimination. So the reactions are happening that is E2 reaction in this case. In this case no substitution because the substrate is tertiary alkyl halide. We said in the class on tertiary alkyl halide we have so much asterisks so that Nucleophile, it is not easy for a nucleophile to attack. This we have done, we have said many times in the class. If you have a tertiary alkyl halide, in that case, elimination is more predominant reaction. Are you getting? So in this case, major product you will get that is alkyne, alkene. And the product here you will have, you will have, this will take hydrogen, so you will have CH3, CH2, C triple bond C. So you can write this as also a product, because this will take hydrogen, so this will become alkyne. Let us do third one. Now if you react the same compound CH3, CH2, so we are discussing the reaction in which nucleophile acetylide ion can act as a nucleophile or it can act as a base. So this reaction in which this is basically acting as a base. The previous one in that case this is acting as a nucleophile. Are you getting? So let us keep copying and third one, uh, please keep copying. So CH3, CH2 reacting with formaldehyde. So if I have a formaldehyde at CHO, what will be the product? Now in this case, it will attack here and this can open. Are you getting? So you will have CH3, CH2, C triple bond C and then CH, H, O minus. Now if you treat with H2O, in the next step it can take H plus from water. Then it finally form alcohol CH3, CH2, C triple bond C, COH, CH2. Are you getting or not? Let us put CH, H. So this is the final product in this case you will get. Are you getting? Now let us discuss the fourth one. So what is the fourth CH3, CH2? So in this case what is this acting as a? nucleophile. This again is acting as a nucleophile. Now CH3, CH2, C triple bond C minus. Now if this reacts with, uh, the third one is uh, cyclohexanone. That is an easy one. 
so let us take cyclohexanone or so let us write cyclohexanone and this is a easy one in this case you will get a in this case you are getting a alcohol in this case also you will get alcohol are you getting in this case also this will attack here this will go here and now if you further if you treat with h2o it will take o minus will take h plus from water so finally you can write the product so let me write the final product here you will have oh and this side you will have c triple bond c ch2 ch3 are you getting or not so in this case also now this kind of alcohol is tertiary alcohol this time alcohol is the previous one is the primary alcohol in case of formaldehyde we'll, we have not discussed this one we'll discuss in the class formaldehyde will get primary alcohol if you have a ketone you will get a tertiary alcohol if you have another aldehyde that is not formaldehyde you will get a secondary alcohol so let us copy this one so that we can go for the next Now next is if I treat the same compound with ethylene oxide that is CH2O. So let me write here. So this is 5-1. If I react CH3. So in this case also this is acting as a nucleophile in the previous case. CH3 is CH2. C triple bond C. And this is a minus charge. Now if I react this compound with CH2. CH2 that is a epoxide. And we have already said in the class epoxide ring can be opened by two ways if nucleophile attacks or it can be acid catalyze or it can be base catalyze if nucleophile attacks it will basically attack on the less and dead position in this case both are same equivalent this carbon and this carbon is equivalent so you will have CH3 CH2 C triple bond C and then you will have CH2 CH2 O minus now if you treat in the next step with water what you will have you can convert O to O minus to OH so you will have CH3 CH2 C triple bond C CH2 CH2 OH are you getting the next one is slightly uh, not difficult one you have to apply some logic easy one so in this case also it's again acting as a nucleophile so let us say sixth one you have CH3 CH2 C triple bond C and there is a minus charge. Now if I react this compound with alcohol. So let us say I have a cyclohexanol. What will be the product? So let us say cyclohexanol I have. Now this time what kind of reaction you think? Tell me. Nucleophile? No. This time it will not act as a nucleophile. It will act as an acid base reaction. It will take H plus from here. So it will form. If I take H plus from alcohol. So you will have CH3. CH2 C triple bond CH plus O minus this time this is acting as a base are you getting or not so this can basically act as either acid base reaction or it can be nucleophilic nucleophilic reaction you have I think all of you have copied this one. So let us copy fast. Basically, I have not given you chance to uh, discuss yourself. We have already, I have already given you the solution. But if please uh, keep referring your copy, then slowly, slowly you will know what are the questions, what kind of questions that is discussed in organic chemistry. After once you you are finished with all this, go to the home and do the J problems. Whatever the problems so you just buy a 31 years uh, spectrum or 31 years solved problems, and then you see what kind of question they are asking. You must have to have 31 year question bank and please solve them. That is very very necessary. We will even do the class in the class. We will after the completing our courses, we will uh, try to do some problems from J. Uh, before that, you can keep doing yourself. And please follow the book with the textbook which we have prescribed in the class that is the uh, 3000 solved problem please do some problems from there also organic chemistry is a science that does not comes in one day let's keep doing if you, you have to do a lot and then you will know the what this science is all about this is a language basically okay let us go for the next problem